I've I've read in a book like my moon controls your mind and sun controls your body. Like that's why you you have the circadian rhythm, right? The, yeah. The sun is your soul. Yeah. And the moon is your soul, which is which is which is also your personality. Mm-hmm. Right. And, and the moon rules your mind, the dark and deepest secrets that you hold within yourself. You know that's uh, interesting. You're right. Yeah, and uh, it's interesting, like how Eastern culture, like you know, try to like have birthdays or like festivals exactly at the same time, so that it's like one one full cycle, and that's right. when you celebrate, right? Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't criticize. It, uh, Eastern astrology versus Western astrology. It's that. It's just that Eastern astrology, Vedic astrology, it gives you a little bit more tools. You know, it's like it gives you an added uh, parameters that you could evaluate, right? Mm, correct. So when you're designing a product, uh, you design <laughs> a product for cost, weight, and volume, right? Yeah. But if you take off the weight and volume, and if you just design it for the cost, then you would not have much customers, right? You cannot get that optimal product. Correct. correct. You're going into the market assuming that, oh, everybody would be okay with a particular cost for the product. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's it's the same. It, here, you, you instead of dividing a pizza into 12 pieces, uh, 12 sections of your zodiac, you know, you in Vedic astrology, you further divide that twelve, that individual piece of that one twelve segment into further into twenty seven different segments, uh, oh. which, which just which which basically gives you a lot more information, a lot more data, uh, lot. makes it a lot more precise on yeah. where you are. Uh, you know, so, yeah, I'm I'm not going to go into a lot of details again, but. But at a high level, it just gives you it, it's it's a little bit more precise.